Fortis watches have an impressive pedigree. They have equipped pilots and divers for decades and have the accolade of making one of the few professional space-flown watches, the B-42 Cosmonaut. We recently recorded a fascinating interview with Yup Philip, the CEO and owner of Fortis. After the chat, we asked for a current review model at Yup's discretion. Much to our delight, a parcel arrived a few days later containing a new Flieger F-43 by Compax with a petrol dial fitted with an Indigo Aviator strap. So let's see what's so special about this watch and is it worth your hard-earned cash? Fortis has made capable chronographs since the 1970s and dedicated Flieger models since 1987. Their early, highly militaristic professional flight models soon defined a subgenre of pilot watch, very different from the classic Rolex GMT. Previous generations of Fortis Fliegers looked like they had been lifted straight from an F-14 Tomcat cockpit. However, the 2023 Flieger family has benefited from a different design ethos. They are still aviation-inspired and hugely recognisable, but the majority of models are less fighter pilot cockpit and more contemporary chrono with a steely functional edge. Except for the triple GMT special editions, there's a common design theme in all of the F range. Heavily brushed dials and monotone or striking shades of green and blue shake Flieger expectations to their core. The petrol model we had on test shifts between turquoise and bottle green depending on light and in no way seems to fit into Flieger norms, yet it really works. Chrono F43 and non-Chrono F41 variants are available, both siblings sharing the same design commonalities and are equally good looking. The chronographs are a bi-compact design and Fortis have made a genuine effort to create proprietary methods of improving legibility. Now, legibility is a subject very close to our hearts as watch enthusiasts. It may not be at the top of everyone's design criteria, but if a manufacturer gets it wrong, you will notice. Take, for example, the recently discontinued Breitling Colt variant with a white dial, white indices, white loom hands with a silver outline. Undoubtedly a professional tool watch, but not easy to read. Fortis has taken legibility to the next level with two creations. The first change is the loom indices, which are called illuminated bricks. They are applied on the very bold minute track called the brushed bricks track. These blocks of loom increase the average readability speed. They are highly effective and there is no doubt that the time is easy to read at a glance. The second enhancement revolves around the necessity to zero a watch, a function that pilots and military regularly require. Fortis has developed a line of loom pattern between the 11 and the 1 indice, which is called synchro line. Rather than trying to zero the 12 marker at Mach 1.5 or under fire, this broader zero area allows the user to sync watches with other team members within a plus or minus 5 second range, which is much easier. Looking at the watch function in more detail, the bezel is a 12 hour design which presents rudimentary dual time zone capability. It has 24 positive clicks and is very satisfying to use. The crown and pushers are the paragons of user friendliness. The crown is oversized and heavily ridged for a superb grip. The pushers have a solid purposeful feel and are also ridged at the ends for a perfect grip, especially when wearing gloves. The two sunken subdials, which offer a seconds complication and 30 minute timer, are obvious thanks to the base tone change and bold white military numerals. The hands are the most significant nod to fliegers of the past and retain the classic sword shape we associate with Fortis. They are bold white on the variant we had, but special original models come in the old green which we saw on very early models. The date window is at 6 o'clock to maintain symmetry, and it also has a special nod to Fortis's space legacy. For many years, Berlac Fleur Orange has been a colour Fortis has used to accent watches. This specialised finish reflects highly when UV light found in space hits it, allowing for pinpoint accuracy during spacewalks. The brand works to integrate this colour into most watches and the Flieger F43 by Compax has the number 13 on the date wheel in Berlac Fleur Orange. Why the number 13? We understand it is because Herr Philip bought Fortis on the 13th of the month, the company was founded on the 13th of a month and when Yoop joined the company it had 13 employees. It's worth pointing out that the F43 is not a light watch. This is a heavy duty steel tool watch weighing 140 grams. More than physical weight, it's hard to convey just how solid the watch feels. Fortis don't make a big deal about this, but you just know it would survive if you had to eject. Powering the F43 is a Fortis Caliber UW51 Salita 510 base, which is an automatic self-winding chronograph movement with a unidirectional winding rotor. 
It is 7.9 millimeters high and has 27 rubies with a rapid date correction. It beats at 28,800 vibrations per hour and offers a power reserve of around 48 hours. So how does the F43 wear and compare? As expected, the watch wears big and heavy, but it feels purposeful and works well as a pilot chronograph. In truth, it wears no bigger than an Omega Speedmaster or Breitling Navi timer, but it does feel much more robust. The F43 inspires confidence, and that is a fine accolade for any watch. At £3,650, this is not a cheap watch, but compared to the Omega and Breitling, it's not as expensive. And when you consider what you get from Fortis, stunning design build quality and exciting space heritage, it makes the F43 a seriously viable choice of high-end chronograph. The chat we had with Yup excited us all in WatchGecko. His enthusiasm was infectious and his passion for all things space-related resonated. Fortis has some fantastic plans for the future and if you want to know more about the past, present and future of Fortis, then click on our video interview either on your screen now or in the video description. Also subscribe to the YouTube channel for more watch reviews and conversations.